Well, Ron, I worked for him at his shop for years, and he was my best friend, really. Uh, Ron Hedricks was the pioneer for go-kart racing in North Georgia. He, uh, he truly he truly loved the sport. He, he loved the kids coming through it. It didn't matter if he saw you struggling, he'd walk over and he'd say, hey, you might want to try this, even if you didn't race for him. But he helped me buy this place when the banks would not even talk to me. So uh, I, I, I actually, I owe him, I, we wouldn't be here racing if, you know, if it wasn't for that. And, he died about two months after we signed signed the papers at the lawyer's office. Ron always had good words, pick you up. Uh, he, he wanted you to learn more how to race than to get out there and beat and bang. You know, it was all about your equipment, taking care of it. If you didn't have what you needed to win that day, he'd come along and give you whatever it was. And I just remember that so much as a kid. We got along great together and uh, went to a lot of races and he's helped us a whole bunch in, uh, in everything we tried to do in racing. Him and Willis, they get some heated arguments, and it took me, it took me a while to learn that they were just playing. And it wasn't long after about a year's time, you know, I joined into the arguments, and we just, we just, we, we was not having fun unless we were arguing. So uh, that's that's the best thing I can remember about spending time with both of them. I had the privilege of knowing him for you know some 25, 26 years, and from the time I started to the time I ended. As a matter of fact, when when I ended. Uh, I quit racing for him about a year before he passed away, and uh, he was just a great friend. The sport truly misses him. Uh, he was he was just an icon in my life. And he helped a lot of us, and he meant a lot to us. I said I would uh, always honor him the best I could, as long as as long as I've got a racetrack to honor him. Joseph Galloway. I 
has been caution free since the drop of the rain. The way the cars, the way it is spread out all around the racetrack, it was something of this thing that I'm not going to go out and so they do. Your leader's now on the back of the 48 car. They're going to get inside. Bill takes it to the inside and so does Hunter Curtis. Shot in the back bumper and through the first. 
last time today, Bill's car was to be a little loose. Bill's car beginning to get a little loose. And that might be exactly what her, her Curtis is going to need to capitalize on. You see Bill's loose getting in three that time. Bill's right rear may be giving up the ghost. Off turn number two. Can Doug hold on to it? Since he took over the lead, but I'm telling you, she's getting looser by the lap. Curtis's car looks like it's stuck on a rail. It's Tempest against Fountain. High Tech against Freeze Power. And here comes Baker. Baker going to try to mount one last charge, but can he do it? Clear sailing in front of him. There's nobody he's got to contend with. Ten to go when they come to the line the next time. Ten laps to go when they come to the line the next time by. Ten laps to go. They're going to hold ten fingers. I hope Doug was able to see him. I don't think he did. Doug, worry about that 21. And here comes Doug. Off turn number three this time. He has slid higher off turn number two. Thank you, sir. 